The alleged founder of Bitcoin has identified himself as Craig Wright. Until now, the Australian businessman had tried to remain anonymous. To prove his identity, Wright also presented three media outlets with digital authentication codes for electronic currencies. Wright launched Bitcoin in 2009 under the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto. For a while, people have questioned his identity. Wright says he didn't want to identify himself, but was forced to in order to protect others around him being falsely identified as Bitcoin's creator. In 2014, Wright was the CEO of a tech company that planned to launch the first Bitcoin bank, but he was stopped by Australian tax authorities. Well, to make sense of this all, we're joined by TRT Wells, Surav Roy. Why now? Why tell everybody who he is now? Well, the most plausible reason is because, as he, as he identified himself, that he doesn't want anybody else to be bothered. And I think he wants to set the record straight because it's been a while that people have been guessing, the media has been guessing who actually is Satoshi Nakamoto. And there have been many theories, consp conspiracy theories flying around. I guess it's time that he decided that he wanted to put the record straight and he wanted to be identified as the creator and the founder of the technology. Just for the layperson, please explain what is Bitcoin and why is it so important? Bitcoin is a virtual currency that allows you to trade online. It is a currency which is devoid of any kind of government regulations, which is one of the reasons why Wright actually created this, if Wright is the creator as he claims to be, because he believed in the policy of free trade. And because this currency is not controlled by any regulatory authority, so it's its usage as well as its uh, value is determined by the people and by how it is used in different denominations across the world. So, so it, is, it is a currency that allows you to do many kinds of trades online. Unfortunately, a lot of it is now used for nefarious purposes. But then at the same time, I guess it's also gaining more appreciation, it's getting more recognition, and banks and financial institutions want it to be an, an alternate uh, to conventional payment gateways. Okay, briefly, Surav, is this going to change anything for Craig Wright or indeed the technology? Well, here's a man who's remained incognito for so many years, so I don't think coming out is going to change anything for him. But what can really change is if he decides to play a proactive role in determining what the future of bitcoins would be. Can bitcoins really be the alternate payment gateways for financial institutions? If yes, can they bring transparency? And again, if yes, how would you regulate bitcoins so that they don't fall into wrong hands? All good questions. Thanks very much, Surav.